2015, I was responsible for the delivery of new infrastructure on the surface of the former Merthyr Vale Colliery here in Aberfan. I was also honoured to draft the memorial plaque on this memorial to the Merthyr Vale Colliery, comprising a half pit wheel from the colliery itself and a miner gazing reflectively out towards the Avon Taff. The memorial itself reads, the first commercial coal was brought to the surface in 1875. The colliery finally closed on the 25th of August 1989, following a long and proud existence punctuated by one of the darkest days in the history of coal mining. The corners of our memories may be eroded and softened by time, but they live on in the local communities first established to house the coal miners of the colliery and their families. But the memories and lessons need to live on in the minds of civil engineers. The darkest day was the 21st of October 1966 and was subsequently known by all as the Aberfan disaster. The colliery had run out of tipping space in the valley floor and started tipping on the steep hillside above the village of Aberfan. Plenty of warnings were voiced, plenty of lessons should have been learnt from previous instability of the tips on that hillside, but they carried on. Eventually, 2.7 million cubic yards of material was tipped on the hillside. Finally, on that fateful morning, disaster struck and the tip failed. 140,000 cubic yards of material avalanched down the hillside, went across the canal and into the village. It buried a farmhouse, 18 houses, the Pantclass Junior School, and the nearby County Secondary School. 144 people were killed, 116 children, comprising half of it, the youth of Aberfan. At 9.20 in the morning, the hooter of the colliery sounded for the first time. It had never suffered a major disaster before. But now, half the youth of Aberfan were dead. After the disaster, the tip material was removed and made safe. After the closure of the colliery, the colliery surface was remediated and made ready for future beneficial use. But it took many years before we built the new infrastructure that we have here now that was opened in 2015. A new road, a new footbridge, a new road bridge, and flood defences to protect uh, the development area from the flood events. Now, in January 2018, we have planning permission for 153 new homes on the former colliery site. But while we can celebrate the improvements that are now being created for this community, we must never forget the lessons that can be learnt from the disaster all those years ago in 1966. The first lesson is that we must learn those lessons. We must record them. We must let everybody know about them and we must ensure that future generations of engineers have not forgotten them. Secondly, we must ensure that all those engineers are appropriately qualified and experienced to undertake the duties that they are asked to perform. We must have regulations that are fit for purpose. We must have regulations that are based on sound research. But also we should never forget the impact on society and community of when we get engineering so lamentably wrong. Wales is honoured to be the first place in the world with a legal imperative to deliver on the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. Where Wales goes, others will follow, said the United Nations. But the engineers, we must do it now. A career in civil engineering can give you a great opportunity to deliver socially inclusive outcomes from the infrastructure that we deliver. If you've got strong technical skills and a desire to help people, then consider civil engineering.